Welcome to Rojo Tech channel. My name is Roti Miyakongo. Today we are going to talk about how to connect single phase pumping machine with floating switch. Let's start. We are going to make use of this control switch. And control switch is to just on and off to control the power that goes to any uh, connection that we, are, we want to make. And this is the service pumping machine that we are using. Service pumping machines are designed to pump water from surface. Now we have another type, submersive, that that one enters inside the water. But this one operates on a surface. And this is another type of um, control switch that we can make use of instead of this one. As you can see, it's very it's new in the market and um, it's, it's more well closed. You can mount it, 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 it can be easily mount outside or anywhere you want to mount it. And water cannot easily get into it. Apart from that, it has the both inputs and outputs and the the earth uh, terminal the connection is not is not complicated at all it's very very easy that's why i brought it instead of if you don't like this uh, control switch you can make use of this this is the tank water that we are using and then float switch let's start our connection We first connect the neutral to the switch and then the output will go to the pumping machine. And also connect the heads to the switch and output will go straight to the pumping machine. And the last one that we are going to connect is the live. And we first connect it to the switch and then output of it will come out from the switch. But it won't go straight to the pumping machine because we want to make use of floating switch. And this floating switch is also a switch that, that can off and on any uh, device that we connect it to. But in this case, this floating switch operates, it can operate automatically. And it is a device used to detect level of a liquid it works at, like a sensor and it it can be used to 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 know the level of a liquid it can be water it can be diesel people are using it inside diesel tank and every other thing like that anything little then liquid you can make use of this floating switch to know the level and there's another thing i, I would like to show here what is really inside this um floating switch and how it works see the bigger picture here as you can see this ball is the one that controls the floating switch if this if the water the liquid is very very low this ball uh, this switch will face down and then when this switch face down like this like the way it is inside here this ball will roll down from here and come to this this uh this other side and when you get to this place, it will press this uh, this cough rod like this, and then this iron will now close the circuit inside here, and immediately it will trigger our machine or any other any other thing we connect it to, and then immediately when the water is going up, uh, when the water has gone up very well. And then uh, push the floating switch up. This ball will roll down back to this uh, circle, and this this rod, this iron, will release, will be released. And once it released, it will open the circuit. That's how it works. Okay, let's continue with our connection. And then there's another thing I would like to say here. We are going to connect this. Uh, life to the blue wire 
and the output of the, this floating switch will come out from the neutral, this black wire, and go straight to the pumping machine. Sorry for using neutral from the black wire and go straight to the pumping machine. And the reason is, if you connect it to this red, it will on permanently. But if you connect it here, that's when it will work when the water is low or water is hot. That's when it that's when it's going to work the way you want it to work. Now don't forget this, make sure you connect it the way you see it in this video. Okay, and then from there, we are going to connect output of the floating switch to our pumping machine. With that, we are through with our connection. As simple as that. Okay, and the output of it, when the pumping machine is working and the control switch is on, you can see that the switch is not on here. You can see the switch is on and you can see that the water level has started uh, going up, which means the pumping machine is working. And the last uh, things I will show here is when the water is full. Immediately this water is full. This floating switch will off the pumping machine. Even when this control switch is still on. And then you may be thinking, why, why did they put control switch since we have switch here? If this floating switch failed, you can be using this control switch to operate it till you replace it. Simple as that. Uh, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching this video. Please do well to like, share, and subscribe.